Let's talk about the pollinator garden this year. She's starting to really pop. A couple of things I added new this year was the this red hot poker, which you can almost see through the weeds. Um, it just started to, I guess, bloom, you could say. Um, there's something else down here. Can't remember what that one is. It was new also, but it's getting a little drowned out. So hopefully that'll come back next year a little better. The zinnias. Now these are like little ones, dwarf. And they were from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just blown away, blown away. And then I threw a couple in a pot. I think these were different. These aren't, oh, maybe these are dwarfs. They're pretty small. Some snapdragons, some very sad looking nasturtium. Here's a couple more. Kind of sad in that pot. But I'm loving these guys. And then I do have some big, I had bought some big purple They're starting to come up. And I also got this um, hyssop orange thistles, which I need to get out of there. I transplanted a words are escaping me. <laughs> what is this? Um, clematis. Uh, I didn't do too great in the transplant, but I needed to move it because of where it was. So. The rutabachia are taking over the world uh, next year, uh, probably in the spring, I suppose. I'm going to transplant. There's four in here, and we're going to remove all but one. I think I'll leave this middle one, let that one just be the focal point, and get rid of these, move these other ones somewhere else. They just got huge. I mean, they're almost as tall as I am. The dill is doing pretty darn good this year. I didn't think it was coming up. And my weird second ear parsley. Uh, lavender came up. It doesn't seem to want a flower. Oh, there it does have one flower. It's... And then some rogue, I think. Um, crown cherries? I don't know. We'll see. A little bit of milkweed, though the tussock moth caterpillars are kind of going to town on those. Here's some more of those small zinnias. There's one right there. Calendula hidden in there. Bachelor buttons. Delphinium's looking sad, but it's been a while. I think I have volunteer cosmos down here. Hollyhocks have pretty much gone to seed. I've got the pink and then there's some white ones in there and there's the black ones back there. A little water feature. This is for mostly for bugs, for butterflies. I got a lot of rocks in there. I transplanted these last year. Shasta daisies. And I've got my wild geranium in here. Also overcome by weeds. Bunch of volunteer hollyhocks. There should be butterfly weed in here. Here it is. I hidden under here. I grew that from seed, but it's really stunted. It just hasn't done anything. So I'm hoping next year it'll come back with a vengeance. There's a few more of those in here somewhere. And then I got my blazing star. And it looks like some more volunteer dill. And then this guy, which I transplanted, it went a little wild. Wasn't sure what it was. I thought maybe it needed more sun. I think it's actually goldenrod. Um, I might pull some of that out, especially the chunk that's out of the garden. But if it gets a flower on it, you know, we'll go with it. Come around this side, look at more volunteer hollyhocks. Another volunteer hollyhock. I think they lose these seeds real easily. So that's why they're everywhere. So now these, I think these are Cosmos because I did have a big Cosmos here last year. So um, hard to hard to compete with all this stuff. Here's the Delphinium. 
So I think if I get rid of this guy, some of this other stuff will come back because there's also, where is it? There's a bee balm in there. And somewhere in there is a salvia, but obviously that's not happening right now. Another hollyhock. Oh, and here was the white one over here. Ugh, cucumber beetles. And then here's the black one. So I think if I get rid of everything but one of these, and then I'm gonna put some cone flowers in here. But I'm gonna probably try those this fall um, since they have to be cold to come up. So I'm hoping if I put them in this fall, they'll come up next spring. Um, I did get a hummingbird feeder. Clearly this needs to be removed right now. <laughs> you can't get to it. And I don't, I haven't seen any hummingbirds this year. So I'm gonna take that down. Uh, we still have a butterfly house. I haven't checked to see if the bees made a home in it. They like to do that. Some volunteer alfalfa, some grass. But that is the pollinator garden in full force. I do have, oh, what's this? Um, I'm not, I can't remember what that is. But that was part of a mix also from the Dollar Tree. And there was a little white something in here white. I don't see it anymore. And then I think down there, I think that's something too, right? That guy. But it's going to be hard to take over when you've got everything else in your way.